Welcome to Window Cleaning Resource. I am Steve-O, the Window Cleaner, and today we're going to be discussing how to choose a water-fed pole. Now, when it comes to water-fed poles, there's a lot of different options out there. There's a lot of different materials the poles are made out of, and there's a lot of different clamps. First, what we're going to dive into is what is the different materials. As far as the different materials go, there are aluminum poles, there's fiberglass poles, there's hybrid poles, which can be a combination of carbon fiber with fiberglass or aluminum. And then there's carbon fiber, which is the most preferred choice of professional window cleaners. Now, when it comes to carbon fiber, there's three different choices. First choice is basic carbon fiber. Now, basic carbon fiber is not the most rigid, but still higher quality than a hybrid or aluminum pole, especially when using at a high height, as far as the rigidity, and is gonna be your most affordable carbon fiber. Next, let's talk about high mod carbon fiber. High mod carbon fiber is going to be more rigid than your basic carbon fiber, and it has a good balance between a light pole and a rigid pole, and as far as how much it's gonna be expense-wise is in between the basic and the ultra high mod. So next, let's dive into the ultra high mod carbon fiber. Ultra high mod carbon fiber is rigid, but it's mostly known for being extremely, extremely light. If you're an everyday user of a water-fed pole, ultra high mod is for you, but it also has the biggest price tag to it. Next thing you have to consider is what length do you need? If you're doing residential, probably a 30 foot to 40 foot pole will do you really well. Something like the Zero Micro could be a perfect choice for you. If you're doing more commercial buildings where you are doing, you know, third, fourth, fifth story, you're going to need something about 40 to 50 feet. You may even need to go all the way up to 90 feet, which we have a pole that will go there as well. Next thing to consider is what are you transporting these poles in? There's a lot of different options out there as far as the collapse lengths of these poles. What I want to show you is two 30 foot poles, right? They both extend to the same length, but they both have a very different collapse length. So if you're using a truck or a van and it's easy to transport or whatever, maybe you buy a pole like this. But if you have a smaller vehicle, maybe you buy the Zero Micro just because you don't have as much room and the collapse length is, works better for you. Now, if you ever find that more length is needed on any of these poles, on the Zero Line, there's a Zero Universal Extensions. These just go at the end of the pole and give you an extra 10 feet so that you don't feel like you have to buy a whole nother pole just to get that 10 feet. Next, let's talk about the clamps. A good clamp allows you to just open and close that clamp very smoothly. When you open your clamp, it allows you to move the pole in and out of that clamp very smoothly. And then when you lock that clamp, it allows the pole not to twist and it allows the pole not to come in on itself when you're scrubbing the windows. So that pretty much covers it as far as how to choose a water-fed pole and really the different options you're looking at and the different things to think of when choosing a water-fed pole. If you have any questions, comment below and we'll help you out to the best of our abilities, but I hope this video helps in how to choose a water-fed pole.